I'm saying? No pole hustlers over here, though. But can't match you at the run. Make sure you hit him up on Twitter. Say, get your ass on Instagram. Yeah, I said it. You already know what it is. Kmitch305 on Twitter. Hit him up. Tell him you need to get on Instagram so he can get his IG up real. They call him Nino. Mr. BMW. Mr. Palm Beach. You want to talk on the microphone? You shot right that's there? Word? Nah, nah. I didn't know we was live. We good? Yeah, we live? good. We good. What's oh, going on with your player? You we know, got you, the Nino World 2 out. You already know. You already know. Maintaining, hustling, keeping on my grind for everybody in Palm Beach representing the 561. That's what it is right there. You know what I'm saying? So hosted by DJ Smoke. We're going to talk about a mixtape, what you got going on with you. Basically, before we get into it, let everybody know what you've been, you know, you say you keep it up with your grind, let everybody know what you got going on, like, what you, what's been going on with you? Well, what's been going on with me since, since the, the Diddy Wop? Since the Diddy Wop, since they took it off YouTube at 100k views, since YouTube hating on your boy, oh. I just been pushing the new mixtape, Nino's World 2, working on pure instruments, saxophone, yes. guitar, yes. And bass, everything is bringing out the whole group, trying to expose all the group, the whole team knots. Mm -hmm. First off, I got a shout out to my boy Sean DeVivo out there in Berkeley now, you know what I mean? My saxophone player, so shout out to him. He's the main reason why we do these love songs like T all the time. And Baby, to please don't go. I need a clean version for that with them down. Right here, you already know. We, we got, got it. it. We, we got it. We got it. We right got it on deck. deck. Right here on deck. Oh snap! Wait, hold up. So I'm gonna go play this deck guy. Tell they love me, and we gonna come back talk about Nino World Part Two. And it's Tia all the time with the sets, phone, and the instruments and all that. Okay. So here's a uh, deck guy. He said they love him. You know what I'm saying? New inventory is coming in October. It's the UE show. You know what we do? We turn up over here. Turn up. And we also got um, you know, DJ some more hip hop set shop coming up. But right now we're talking about uh, Nino World Part Two, also hosted by uh, DJ Smore. Just say no. Real, real something uh, different though. You want to tell them a little bit about it? Which one? The new one? Baby, yeah, the new one. Go. It's real different though. Yeah, you already know it's real different. Bringing out the saxophone again. Shout out Sean DeVivo for this mm -hmm. out there in Berkeley. You know, just exposing my heart to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This girl that really hurt me before, so I put it in the track, you know what I mean? Cause okay. she tried to she tried to come back, but your boy ain't having that. Oh snap, okay. But the whole mixtape though, like you like really it's like real instruments that you put down and to come up like what was the inspiration for Nino World 2? Like where you had to go? Cause it's way different to me from one to two. True. Well basically cause I felt like everybody on the first one, they was like, you have talent. You have like the potential to be there, mm -hmm. but I felt like they were sleeping on me, so I wanted to really expose the real, like mm -hmm. the real talent around me. Because knots is um, knots of talent. That means it's mm -hmm. a group of talented people put into one. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to expose everybody in the group. Like Shade, he's my lyricist. You know, we got Cherry Renee, mm -hmm. we got Lil Red. Those are two girls on the team that rap and sing. And then, you know, we got Anthony Stella who plays the guitar. So I wanted to really expose everybody as opposed to just me. Okay, okay. And that's what they gonna get on this Nino World too. Nino's World too, getting a little bit of everybody. Just a little bit of everybody. Yeah. You got all around the world. You got all about me. Mm -hmm. You got the Diddy Wop on there, Diddy part two. We still Diddy Wopping now. All right. Just because now. they took us off, we still Diddy Wop. Still going on with you. So you was telling me, you know, saying well, I catch you stuff from the Diddy Wop, and mm -hmm. when they took you off of YouTube, finish telling us about that. Well, I felt like, you know what I mean? Like, everybody loved that. All the kids really loved that. I really felt hurt. Mm -hmm. So, really, what I'm trying to do is really get bring the Diddy Watt to the next level. When I recreate the video, I'm going to have, like, celebrities doing it. So, it's at another level. Like, I want LeBron James to do the Diddy Watt up and dunk. I want, okay. you know what I mean, Reggie Bush to do the Diddy Watt and the touchdown dance. Okay. You know what I mean? I want everybody to do the Diddy Watt. So, I'm really trying to really connect with more and more people okay. and then expose it when it's at its maximum. You know, French Montana, everybody do the Diddy Wop. You know, I want everybody. Rick Ross do the Diddy Wop. The ball, you're going to get the boss? The, that's going to be epic. <laughs> we're going to get the boss, Ricky Rose. Okay, okay. Well, real quick, though, we're going to get into this, baby. Please don't go. Um, 
because you hear it in the background just a little bit though. Mm -hmm. But you you know the whole thing with Meek Mill and uh, Kendrick Lamar. Uh -huh. What's your uh, your take on that right there from an artist perspective? Um, from an artist perspective, uh, I really like it to tell you the uh -huh. truth because it's really bringing out that intensity instead of this lame music, not lame, but this dimmed down rap. You know mm -hmm. that. Uh, uh, oh blah, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like it where they're bringing that intensity to each other, where they're yeah. like, you know what I mean? They're bringing it, they're battling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I really like the intensity, but you know what I mean? It's, who, who, who you got though? You got Meek or you got Kendrick? Ooh, you know, you know what I mean? I have to go with K Dot. I was just saying though, come on you now. Know K Dot may have it, but you know. Because it's Love Cities, right? Yeah, you, you know, but <laughs> I, I love me some, uh, some Meek though. Hang on, front. You, you got that. Mm, that fire, like me. But, you, you know, going against fire. Kendrick, it's Love of City's issue. Yeah, right? there is some Love of City's issue. <laughs> yeah, I already know what it is. So, baby, please don't go. Tell us a little bit about it, how it came about, who you didn't want to go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I ain't going to name drop nobody and get you nobody famous. You ain't got to do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this was really about this girl, you know what I mean? She tried to come back at your boy after she tried to play me. So, it was uh -huh. like, you know what I mean? You, you can't have me no more. So, she was trying to beg, plead, not baby, please don't go. But I was like, nah. You know, I'm finna just expose you in this song, you know what I mean? So this is inspired by real Situation. current events, yeah. Oh, wow. All right, now, y'all gonna hear the instruments on in Nino World, too. We gonna let you know where you can cop that and everything like that, what Nino got going on next. So, uh, go ahead. All right, don't go, but basically, he's kind of a flip reaction. Nino said that, uh, pretty much, chick, you can go. Because um, <laughs> you you left me, you know what I'm saying? You left this train, you know what I'm saying? Basically, you know what I mean? right? You basically you left your boy Nino. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't jump back on. So right. like, how did that like 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 when you heard was it a beat? Like was y'all like playing the instruments live? Like how did that? Yeah, well me me and my saxophone player, you know what I mean? We get together in my room, you know what I mean? Do what we do, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Nino's world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? yeah. And then basically this dude Ben Rosen, you know what I mean? He sent me the beat and um, it sounded real good. And we, you know what I mean? We listened to the beat. And then I would usually rap over it first. Mm -hmm. And then he'll just come in and just harmonize with it and then mm -hmm. take over, do his solo parts. Okay. So. Nino World 2, let them know where they can cock that if they're not on SoUrbanEntertainment.com. Just saying, though. If they're not tuned into the SoUrbanEntertainment.com, they could cop that, uh, that piff. Uh -huh. And they could also cop. Um, tune in to me on iTunes to search up Nino's World mm -hmm. and you know download that mixtape that's the first mixtape not the one hosted by DJ Samore the better one but the first one's on there so mm -hmm. I, mean, I mean you know the better one right too you know what I'm saying yeah, the, that on that pivot yeah, just say it though you know on that pivot, so. I mean we talking about Nino World too yeah you know what I'm saying just a little bit okay so what you got going on right now because I know you you hit the stage up there in West Palm at Beat Lounge the underground yeah you man KOD let us know what you got going on what I got going on right now in my book of tricks i'm working on my next music video actually is the tea all the time i was say cameo but i don't think that's a cameo type of video i don't know i don't even think i might rap it this song it's just pure love scenes pretty much yeah. so you know what i mean so i might keep it mellow and just mm -hmm. love scenes and just star her it's just a, you know what i mean to bring out another local palm beach you know what i mean um public figure and then just expose them try to give them better exposure because this song is top notch world star hip-hop so we might yeah. as well shout out somebody a model trying to make it you know what i mean yeah, you got so, you got support so the you, love support you the mentioned love. uh the team knots and everything like that and you you know just in case people just not tuning in recap let them know what the team knots is <laughs> and you know how y'all came about and things all right well basically team knots um it means Knots of talent, <clears throat> and that's basically a group. Basically, this is about I would say deep. We go from New York to North Carolina to Florida, all the way to LA, and it's a whole like group of just talent from bass players to keyboard players to drummers to singers to multiple artists. We're just a group of just talent, just put into one. And then when you listen to the music and you hear the artist, you definitely hear all the talent just exposed. You know what I mean? So. Okay, so can people get a part of it, or is it like no new friends, y'all like already yeah. got that? Oh, uh, well, basically, this game is kind of shisty now that so I it's all, it's yeah. no new friends over no, here? No new friends. It's basically just people that I 
I grew up with. That's how everybody, okay. my saxophone player, I grew up with him since mm -hmm. we was 12, mm -hmm. all these, the bass player, artists. Basically, my new friend here, Tsunami, shout out to Tsunami in the booth, my mm -hmm. camera boy, right now, you know what I mean? That's my that's my new friend right here. That's okay. basically it. You know nice. Mean? All right, so how can they get in touch with your Twitter websites, all that good stuff? Uh, to get in touch with my Twitter, you know, you could look up Nino56ACE. I'm all over YouTube. Just look up the same thing, Nino56ACE. They took me off Instagram because I was too explicit with Are you serious? It's too explicit. <laughs> taking the dude off of YouTube, <laughs> taking him off of Instagram. They, I mean, like... they just hating on your boy, but you can find me on Instagram, Nino, N E N O 561. Okay. So, you know yeah. You already know he holding down for the 568 all day. So, okay, I... We gotta go back to the Vita Lounge, though. I know, right, man? Like, Next what Wednesday, you, that's it. Wednesday, that, that's where you gonna be. You know, Vita Lounge Wednesday, so Urban Entertainment, we in the building. All day, all day. Well, I appreciate you coming through. I mean, this is your song, and I need a real introduction on this one right here, because it's that single right here with the saxophone player, like, ain't See nobody doing this. Yes, See you all the time? time? Yeah. Okay, let me introduce that to you all the time. Go you ahead. are now tuned into the Soul Urban Entertainment. This is T All the Time by Nina. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like what you say in the mornings when I wanna Nina. Yeah. I feel like what you say. I could keep on it. Let me take a picture of this. Okay, I'm fucking with this bitch and she's fucking with my mind and I'm fucking. With this bitch and she's wasting all my time. I'm fucking with this bitch and she's fucking with my mind. And I'm fucking with this bitch and she's wasting all my time. Okay, I'm